So for these ones, I was going to throw them out through the balcony. Beautiful. German machines. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Yeah, so today I want to do the Kamkunji haul that I was supposed to do last in the previous video. Yeah, so the other day I went to Kamkunji and I was supposed to, do, to give you guys a haul, but I did not because, yo, I was exhausted. If you have ever gone shopping in Kamkunji, you know how it goes and it's so exhausting. I got quite a lot of stuff. Yeah, so let me do this quick haul for you guys so that uh, I can go ahead and organize my kitchen and stuff. And guys, I found some really, really interesting stuff. Let me start off with the small, small ones so that we can move uh, to the much bigger ones. Yeah, so let's get these ones out of the way. So the first item I got was this um, cute uh, fridge organizer. Yeah, so I'll be buying those small, small uh, berries for fruits. You know, and store, this is going to be the official berry storage in my fridge. So I was given this one as a discount after buying one of these huge items that I'm going to show you in a short while. Yeah, but uh, the retail price for this is 250 shillings, I think so. Something like that, yeah. But I, I did get this one for free. So yeah, this is one of the items. Uh-huh. So the second item, this is something I've always wanted. I've always, always wanted this item. It's a soap dispenser and a sponge holder. Yeah, so you can place your sponge over here. And then there's this small pump that, uh, you know, brings the liquid soap up. I had wanted it in black or white, but I didn't get it from the trader I went to. And then immediately after I left, immediately, just right opposite the trader i was buying from i could see the black and white thingy so that's why i always say when you go to kamkunji do a little bit of window shopping before you start buying stuff yeah so uh but this green one will still do i don't really mind the color the other item i got is this um oil dispenser in a bottle this is how it looks like and I just love this color. Yeah, could be beige. Yeah, could be some very light beige, yeah? And I, and if I got it at 550. The first trader I went to was selling it to me at 700 shillings. But then I decided to walk around and lucky enough, I got someone who was selling the same thing at 500. And then with the discount, I got it at 450. So yeah. So the next items I got were these organizers. Yeah, I think by now every person I know has one of these in their homes. Yeah, they have become so common. And so I was trying to look for something more unique, but I didn't get uh, the other types. So I just opted to get these ones and I got four of them. Now, a few years ago, I remember I bought some very cute, nice organizers from Okadeko. But when I went back the second time, they had run out of stock. So I'll keep checking. I'll keep checking. I'll not give up. I only got these four because I know I need a lot of organizers in this house. But I only got these four because I know these ones are not running out anytime soon and I can always go back and get. But I still want to explore other options. I'll also visit Okadeko and um, those thrift stores. I know I'm still going to get some cute and common organizers. So for the time being, these are the ones I'm going to be using. So each was going for 350 shillings. Yeah, and I got four of them yeah so these organizers next so we are starting off with the small small items before we move to the big ones so the next item i got was this garlic crusher yeah they call it a garlic press so this is how it looks like and this is how it looks like yeah so you place your garlic and you press and you press and you press. I can't tell you how important this is going to be for me in my kitchen. Because the number of times I've hit my nail on that greater thingy, yo, this is going to come in so handy. So handy. So the next item I picked was this um, pasta organizer. Yeah, it's the long one. And I think this one will uh, keep, will hold the spaghetti quite well. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. 
and it comes in so many colors but i think this uh it's the same color as the oil dispenser some type of beige and it also has a white rim over here yeah so this is uh, uh the, the pasta organizer next i got this spoon holder so this is how it looks like and it goes inside the drawer or maybe you can just leave it on top of the shelf and you put your cutleries inside these spaces yeah and it, i just love it because it's slim and does not occupy a lot of spaces so you get to save on space yeah <laughs> if there's such a thing but um, this was going for a thousand kenya shillings and i've only seen it in this color gray i've not seen it in any other color i also got uh this is going into my bathroom it's a bathroom organizer yeah it's made of steel and they come in two colors this black and white and they also uh, come with their own stickers so these are the stickers that you attach on the wall and then you hang this bag uh, this organizer and then you hang this organizer so it's a corner organizer and it also has these two hooks where you can maybe hang your your your, your loofers or you know your, your bathing towels and stuff yeah so a bathroom organizer next item was this sink sieve it's called a sink sieve or something yeah so this goes into my sink and now i don't have to worry about large particles of uh, maybe food stuffs going through yeah so i this was going for 150 150 shillings yeah so this goes into the sink then i also got this cooking pot lid stand so you place your your lids over here and they get to stand over there if you have extra knives you can have them stand here if you have a cutting board you can also have have it stand here yeah so the reason why i picked this one is because you see it's long it's high it gets to hold the cooking pot lids so well without them having to you know topple over because you know they are heavy yeah so once you place them they can stand comfortably because this is very strong very very strong it's not like the other small one that we use for plates so this one is very strong and it has no chance of you know toppling over yeah so i got this this was this was a thousand shillings and it's so very strong yeah very very strong very strong now i don't know where spoons disappear to i just don't know i don't know where spoons disappear to if anybody knows kindly please just let me know where spoons are always forever disappearing to because most of the time i'm here alone but my spoons still disappear i don't know if i'm the one who throws them away down the sink or somewhere i don't know I don't know but my spoons are always disappearing and i'm quite sure that you guys can relate so i also got myself some spoons i got uh, the 10 ml and the 5 ml spoons and these ones are the long types you know this is the long type very long very long so i love these long mugs because they take a lot of tea yeah like for example as you can see so i was just having some coffee with this uh, as you can see, I, I love this type of long mugs and uh, using the small regular spoon, uh, you have to, you know, like, you know, you have to compromise your hand because the tea is hot and the, the, the spoon is short. And when I, I saw these ones, look at these guys. No, not this one. When I found these long 5ml spoons, I was so happy, guys. I was so happy. I had been looking for these ones. I went to House of Leather. I went to... Uh, Mr. Price Kenya, I went to where I, I don't think I've ever find, found them, but I found them in Kamukunji. And yes, from now onwards, these are the ones I'll be using to stir my tea. Yeah, so I got these two pairs of spoons, each was going for 300 bob. So for both, I got them at 600 shillings. So I also got this garlic crusher, yeah. I got this garlic crusher but for this one i got it for somebody and um it's going to be like a gift because i've seen them struggling how much was this i can't remember so if i remember i'm going to place the amount over there so this is going to be a gift to someone who loves garlic 
and i have seen them struggle so yeah this is going right oops so this is going right into someone else's kitchen not mine eh? not mine also got some hangers and this is how they look like so pretty yeah and they're also very strong so i got these ones of course these ones are going into my closet and i got three of them i'll use this to hang my official pants and uh, i got three of them each was going for 150 shillings and yeah i'm going to go and organize my closet right away so i got these three just to test their strength i'm still going back uh, in a few weeks i'll go back because there are a few other things that i didn't find immediately yeah and it was getting quite tiring having to move from one place to the other you all know how kamukunji is packed with human traffic yeah so this other next item i really don't know how i feel about it but i really needed it like immediately yeah guys Menuno spice jars zote. You guys have bought all the spice jars there. I could not find spa the this type of spice jars I wanted in Kamkunji. I could not find. So eventually, you know what? I decided I will not suffer. I will not suffer anymore. So this is what I settled for. So after going up and down, up and down, up and down, asking and asking and asking, I decided to go for this, yeah? It's a rotating spice rack with 12 spice jars. And let me open. They are silver in color and the holes are quite big so this is in fact this is going to be so efficient you know and i got them at 2000 bob there's a lady who was selling them to me at 3000 or was it 2500 yeah and then i decided to walk around just a bit and i found someone who was selling the same same thing at 2000 kenya shillings so i took them so fast i'm quite sure there is someone else who is selling them at 1500 you can win on everything you can't win on everything so i think we're now on the last item and let me tell you something guys just give me a moment <laughs> now let me tell you a short story guys yeah see this see this i don't know i don't even think you want to see the insides <laughs> oh my god look at this guys Oh my god, what are these? You know, guys, do you remember how I trashed the jar with the cooking sticks? So for these ones, I was going to throw them out through the balcony. These ones were going out through the balcony, yeah? I was not even going to put them in a trash can or in a trash bag. They were going, I was supposed to throw them through the balcony. Yeah. Then I remembered, my mother-in-law might want to boil something. And you know those mitishamba? So I'm going to keep them somewhere. <laughs> anyway, these ones, guys, these are going. Ukumbali, this is in the this is in yangu. I might only need maybe one for ugali, but even for ugali, I'll look for another one, a better one, because I've had these pots for almost five years. Five years, and I remember I got them at. 150 shillings something like that but don't worry don't worry i have good news i have good news guys we are now the proud owners oh shit we are now the proud owners of this cute elegant aesthetic beautiful german machines because kenya <laughs> 
so i got this cooking pot and i decided to get some stainless steel because me i do not want to wahala i don't want to wahala uh -uh. i do not yani the edinburgh pots i saw at kamukunji my goodness what is that what is that i think in nairobi i have only seen one guy who sells some quite original edinburgh pots the rest are just <laughs> let me not let me not talk but i decided to settle for this stainless steel because i do not that i do not want the hassle of having to cry one day i have seen how they cheap i didn't i have seen not even cheap i have seen how they peel at the non-stick that is one of the reasons why for the longest time i have not bought you know the non-stick pots yeah because I, I just had so much fear in me i don't know but i decided to go for this stainless steel let me take this out lift it up so that you can see and definitely these are not germany originals yeah i can see that already but the fact that they are stainless steel i hope they're going to serve me for quite some time yeah so i got these ones hmm? So this is how it looks. Uh -huh. This is the second lid. And this is the pan. Yeah. It's quite huge. And I love the way it comes with uh, the matrix. I love the way it comes with some matrix over here in liters. So this is the pan it also comes with this smaller one and they're quite heavy very heavy mm -hmm. this is the biggest size and this is the last one so they look like huh 